Hey guys, it's Rebecca with Brand True, and I'm going to do another one of our Does This Brand Suck videos. This one is on the brand Stellantis. So this was the name given to a new entity created when Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot merged. And uh, I'm not crazy about it. Let's apply our framework. The first thing we ask ourselves is the T of the true framework. Is it a transparent communication? And it isn't in any way. It doesn't say auto in any way. It doesn't point to any of the equities. So I give it an X for T. Now for R, this is where we're looking at really reels, any kind of authenticity around the history of the brand or creating any sort of uh, sincere, authentic emotion, and it's a no as well. They walked away from any equities. I mean, when you think about it, Fiat Chrysler was a name born from a merger where they kept equities of at least two of the big brands in the portfolio. This time, granted, it was getting to be a lot, but still, uh, they walked away from all of them. So, is it unique? Yes, it is unique. Stellantis sounds like a um, a tobacco company trying to pretend that they don't uh, sell uh, evil products or a pharmaceutical company. The last thing it sounds like is an auto company, so I guess that makes it unique. But is it engaging in that uniqueness? For me, it isn't. I find Stellantis um, sort of kind of kludgy and pharmaceutical company sounding, doesn't really connect to anything, so it's not memorable, it's not cute, there's no way for it to stick in the mind. It's landing on the suck side of the fence for me. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thanks. Bye.